Well, hello, good morning, and it's the 21st of February 2018, 06.12 in the morning. Happy birthday to Kevin Rose and a rather excellent librarian. Last day of my leave, another Beano, this time Cardiff, where the gatekeeper, beer from eight. I'm feeling there'll be some bacon before it though. Just waiting for the bus. Chilly, but not raining, not frosty, as you can see. There is a breeze. Caffilly International. Looking towards Arbor Holt. I'm going that way. Cardiff Central. And oh, planes are still there. And for that be my train. Off to Barry. The end bit goes off to the way. Kiki land. Getting back to it. Look up. Look up. And possibly drink. The bar is now open at eight. Well, carpets to the fore, Mr. Manning, promoted and leaving to another government department. This is, and I should have stuck with the name, Bad Dog, by Bob Mastiff. I know, 5% alcohol by volume. Malt to the fore, and a sort of honey taste. I wouldn't say it's American Pale Ale. I'm just going to give it B. Yeah, B. Sorry, but B. I don't know if I've had this in bottle before. I seem to remember can. Although, I'm not really sure that it mm, doesn't matter. Anyway, flying dog. Doggy style. Mm. Not sure about the name. 5.5 alcohol by volume. Don't get pregnant, which is fine. There's also Elvis juice in the fridge, which is my next one. Anyway, the fridge is too cold, so this has been gently warming for a while. And I've used my hands on the outside of the glass, and my hands are now really cold. Lovely, hoppy, fruity aroma. Sharp, slightly tingly. Bounces on the tongue. Still a bit too cold, but I can see the way this one's going, especially with the hoppy finish. I'm going to say B. Yeah. So, post court case between Brewdog and Elvis's estate, it can be called Elvis Juice. This is a grapefruit infused IPA, which I think I had about two years ago in Brewdog in Birmingham. 6.5% alcohol by volume. You gotta like grapefruit. <coughs> However, it's got a lovely aroma. The grapefruit really works. Fruity, sharp. You get the grapefruit and there's hops. The finish is more fruity. It's B. And I'm happy with that. Famous Cardiff chip shop. Wonderful. Going in. Well, it used to be the staff club. And now it's a tiny rebel. Tiny rebel. Follow the tiny bit. I see a takedown coming on, but look at the quality of this real wooden floor, Mr. Man. Anyway, uh, it's a collab. Troll Tunda. Lurvig from, where's that place? Norway and Buxton. 
crispy sour IPA, 6.3% alcohol by volume. Not much of an aroma, or that's just put in my nose. Mmm! Nicely sour. Fruity, nice long finish. B plus plus. Yep. Oh, it's probably a takedown city. This is a raspberry pale ale from Fierce Beer or Fierce something. Cranacan Killer. C R A N A C H A N. Oh. Weighing in, five percent alcohol by volume. Look at that. That is really good. That's bottle tops. And that's um, condiments. Huge raspberry aroma. And a raspberry body. Really fruity, really good. B. There's a good job there's no wind. Because they're still mighty nippy. Let's go in. There and there and there and whatever. Ooh, how irrelevant. Lots of gases up there. Titanic. Uh, anyway, um. I got a soft spot for Charlton because they tend to do sours, and this is a Junga, J U N G A sour, 5% alcohol by volume, just a half. It's not real. I'm having a good day. I don't want to go back. Anyway, City Arms, you can't beat it. Oh, hugely sour, which I like. Very good, Mr. Manny. This could be your local. I'm gonna say B plus plus in a bit, because this is extraordinary. We worry. You know what? Real beer, Magic Rock. We like Magic Rock hat trick. Which is ha has a hyphen in the middle of it. 3.7% alcohol by volume. A modern bitter, whatever that means. I get hops. Mm. There's a multi sweetness to it. B plus in a bit. Mm. 